Let's take a look at how to calculate tip, markup, and commission. Benjamin ate dinner at a restaurant. The bill came to $20. If he left a 10% tip, how much was the tip? And we want to express the answer to two decimal places. Okay, so there's a few different ways we could do this. We could write 10% as a decimal and multiply by 20 to see how much that is. We can use some mental math to figure out what's 10% of 20, or we could use our percent proportion, right? There's always lots of different ways to do the same problem. Let's look at the mental math way, because if you can think of it this way, it makes the problem a lot easier. Well, remember 10% means 10 out of 100, okay? And you can see that those both have zeros on them, which means we could reduce it to one out of 10, right, by canceling a factor of 10. So that means if we're taking a 10% tip, that would be $1 in tip for every $10 of the price. So if they paid $20, well, $1 for the first $10, another dollar for the second 10, they would have paid $2 in tip. So that's kind of like your mental math way to say, okay, one out of every 10 would be $2 for $20. And then we could just say, okay, the tip was $2, right? 2.00 since he asked us two decimal places. Now, if you're a little stuck, like what did you just do there? Or I wouldn't think of it that way. Well, no worries. You can also set it up using your percent proportion, which works even when you have numbers that aren't 10%, even if you had something like 13%, that might not be so easy to figure out in your head. Remember when you do the percent proportion, we're saying is over of, or the part out of the whole thing, is equal to your percent out of 100. Okay, so if the bill is $20 and he left a 10% tip, we're basically saying what is 10% of 20? Okay, so if I wanted to set this up with my percent proportion, I could say, well, I don't know what the part is or the is number, so we're going to call that X. I know the whole amount of the bill was $20, right, of 20. And I know the percent was 10, so that's going to be 10 over 100, right? Percent is always out of 100. Now, if I do it this way, I would cross multiply and solve for X, just like you would with any proportion. So x times 100 gives me 100x. 20 times 10 gives me 200. And then to solve for x, I would divide by 100 on both sides. Okay, and 200 divided by 100 is just 2. Now notice that was the same answer we got when we used the mental math reasoning. I would also get the same answer if I multiplied $20 by 0.10, right, the decimal version of 10. So either way I choose to solve this, I'm going to get $2, and notice they said write it to two decimal places since it's money, so $2 would be written like that. Emma is buying her parents dinner. If the dinner costs $16 and Emma wants to leave a 25% tip, how much is the tip? Okay, well remember 25% is the same thing as a quarter. So we can say her tip is equal to a quarter of the total price. Well, what's a quarter or one fourth of 16? Well, 16 divided by four, that's $4. So that's one mental math way to do it. But again, that only really works if you have an easy to work with percent, like 10% or 25%. If it wasn't an easy to work with percent, we would of course want to do our percent proportion and say, what is, since she's trying to find the amount of the tip, what is 25% of $16? And then of course we could set up our percent proportion, which is is over of equals the percent out of 100. So we don't know the part or the is, we're going to call that x, of 16, or the whole thing was 
is going to be equal to 25% or 25 out of 100. And then from here, we would just cross multiply to solve for x. 100 times x gives us 100x. We have 16 times 25, that's 400. And then we would divide by 100 on both sides. Okay, here that gives us x. 400 divided by 100 gives us 4. So just like we got with our mental math answer, we know the tip would be, right, how much tip was the question? $4. Olivia ate dinner at a restaurant. The bill came to $8. If she left a 25% tip, how much was the tip? Okay, well, again, if you wanted to use your percent proportion, absolutely, go ahead. You can set it up that way right now if you want to. But 25% is a nice, easy mental math. Because remember, 25% is the same thing as one quarter. Well, what's one quarter of eight? That's the same thing as saying eight divided by four, which is just two. So the bill would be, or the tip, I'm sorry, the tip would be $2. And of course, if you went the other way and set up the whole percent proportion, you would get the exact same answer. Or if you multiplied the price, $8, times the decimal version, right, 0.25 for 25%, that would also give you $2. So there's lots of different ways to solve these problems. If a pizza at a pizzeria costs $20 and tax is 20%, how much is the tax on the pizza? Okay, well, let's do some mental math. 20%, right, 20 out of 100 is the same thing as saying 2 out of every 10, right? If I reduce that, 2 out of every 10. So for every $10, she's going to pay $2 in tax. Well, $10 goes into 20 twice, right? $2 for the first 10, $2 for the second 10. That would be a total of $4. So the tax would be $4. And again, if you don't like that way, if you want to do the part out of the whole, you could say how much out of 20 is equal to 20% or 20 over 100. Okay, and this would be no big deal for you to solve either. When you cross multiply, 100x is equal to 20 times 20 or 400. And you can already see when I divide by 100 on both sides, that would give me the exact same answer. So again, you have lots of options for how you want to do these problems. And either way, with my percent proportion, with multiplying by the decimal, or with using my mental math here, I wind up with a tax of $4. Isabella orders a sandwich at a diner for $20 and wants to leave a 5% tip. What will be the total cost of the meal after the tip? Now you have to be really careful to read carefully and make sure you're answering the question they asked you. Because notice, in the last few questions, it was about how much is the tip. In this question, they're asking for the total cost of the meal. Okay, so I'm still going to find the tip first, but I'm going to have one extra step. All right, well, let's find our tip first. To find the tip, we want to know, well, if it's 5%, what is 5% of that total price or of $20? Okay, let's use our percent proportion. We don't know how much that is out of a total of $20, but it is gonna be equal to 5%, which is five out of 100. Okay, and then we can cross multiply and solve for x. x times 100 gives us 100x, and five times 20 is also equal to 100. 
So when I divide by 100 on both sides, I'm going to get 1. Okay, so that means 5% tip was $1. Okay, but notice it's really tempting to put that as our final answer, but go back and read the question. They said, what will be the total cost of the meal after the tip? Okay, well, if she's paying $20 for the meal, I'm going to write it with my decimal since it's money here, and she's also paying a dollar for tip, altogether the total amount would be $21.